retail startup Coupang is looking to dominate South Korea's booming e-commerce market. And now with a new round of funding from SoftBank's Vision Fund, it's upping its investment in consumer technology. Join us right now. I want to introduce everybody to him. Some of you guys may know him from Squawk. Last year, Bam Kim, founder uh, and CEO of Coupang, they call it the, I know you don't like this, but it's the Amazon of South Korea. <laughs> that's how people know it. And uh, I know you won't say it, but I will. I think this is a company that's probably going to end up in a place like NASDAQ one of these days. It's a publicly traded company, so thank you for being here. Thanks for having um, me. You just got a big investment. This is your first TV interview talking about it from That's SoftBank, right. $2 billion. Uh, what are you doing with this money? Uh, well, uh, you know, we've made enormous investments in technology platforms over the last three and a half years. A number of areas from supply chain, payment, data, search and discovery, and uh, we are now in a position to leverage these technology investments and make our customer experience 100 times better. Uh, and uh, it's exciting because we're just scratching the surface. Would you ever expand outside of South Korea? People don't even appreciate, I mean, having been, having been there and seen what goes on, Coupang, it's like you can't buy anything without this company. It's like, <laughs> it, I, I don't know if it's a, I don't want to call it a monopoly, nobody likes no. the word monopoly, but literally like one out of every two diapers in the country sold by, by this company. It's kind of a crazy situation. Would you ever expand outside of South Korea? Well, you know, the constraints that we're solving for are shared by a lot of markets in Asia. But, uh, you know, Korea is one of the largest and fastest growing markets in the world. It's the fifth largest e-commerce market in the world today. It's on pace to be the third largest e-commerce market in the world in three years, just behind China and the U.S. So there's a lot of opportunity in the home market, and uh, we're focused on the home market today. Um, how often do you get calls either from Jeff Bezos or Walmart? <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I can't. We, we, we're, not, we're not talking with either of those parties. Um, but would you ever think about selling the company? No. I, we, we have such a, a long-term vision for the company. and. Uh, uh, we're in a position now to uh, expand. I mean, we've rolled out numerous services over the last six months, and the rate of innovation is actually accelerating. Uh, you know, the company is approaching $5 billion in revenue this year. That's 14x what it was in 2014. And as our scale has gotten bigger, the rate of growth has accelerated. Mm -hmm. So this year, we're growing, uh, we're about to exit the year at 70% year over year growth, which is more than three times the rate of the. Uh, the market growth. Right. Uh, so this is an exciting time. We have all the plans in the world right now to keep investing where we're investing. Tell us about some of the new technology you're developing. One of the things that's so amazing is, you know, when they actually do, they, they do, it's all end to end. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to yep. do that. I'm yep. telling you the story. <laughs> it's all end to end, meaning they do the delivery too, mm -hmm. so that when they actually deliver the product, they know who you are and they actually talk and there's little right. notes in the right. system to say little things to you. It's kind of a crazy situation. Yeah, that's right. So we've invested not only in the fulfillment space, which, uh, which I think more people are familiar with in e-commerce. We've built 150 soccer fields worth of fulfillment centers. But in addition to that, we've actually built out our own last mile logistics. So essentially a UPS customized for e-commerce. Uh, and that allows us to customize and personalize even the last mile experience for our, for our customers. Um, that's expensive. Very expensive. Uh, well, it's, again, th this is infrastructure. People think that uh, uh, just because you have a pure marketplace doesn't mean that those physical goods aren't being handled by someone. So they're being handled, whether it's by us or another third party. But if you have an integrated platform, which integrates all the way from the customer's mobile phone experience all the way to the customer's door, and you can build economies of scale and leverage technology, Actually, the efficiency can be much better. I got to ask you, because you did just take some money from SoftBank, and there are some questions about SoftBank, uh, given that it's backed uh, in large part uh, by uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, did you have any concerns about that, given, given all of the news and headlines? You know, th this is not uh, the first investment we've taken from SoftBank. They invested a billion dollars with us in 2015. We've seen the power of the billion dollars invested to change customers' lives. We now have millions of customers who are purchasing over 50 times a year from us, in part because of the experiences we've now been able to build with that investment. We're really excited about the, five billion, the $2 billion now that, uh, that we're receiving and the power of that to continue to change customers' lives. And you've lives. got to tell us, by the way, about one of your first, I think, very early investors. Bill Ackman. <laughs> Bill, Bill Ackman. How did, how did he become an investor in this? Uh, thing? Bill, Bill is a, it was an early investor. I, you know, he believed in the, in the vision that we had and the... Uh, we have, again, a long-term uh, vision to have uh, a profound impact on customers' lives, and we're very fortunate to have a large group of long-term investors. Right. Bill says, by the way, this is like one of his best investments, and didn't even realize it when he did it. You had just been finished running that magazine, right? That's right. Well, I was actually in business school at the time. I was dropping out after my first year, approached uh, Bill, and uh, among other investors. So, I mean, we have 
along with SoftBank, we have uh, 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 T. Rowe, Wellington, right. BlackRock, a number of big investors that uh, have, uh, we've been fortunate enough okay. to, to get a lot of investment. Anyway, good luck. Um, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of you. Thank so you. Appreciate Thanks it. for Thank having you. me.